Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, call all your Maya Hawa, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Harahakradash. The Bahana Apostles, that great millstone who will wed it taught us his truth and peace and blessings to you. I can miss part of the Bayasha, the Abadada House of David. Uh, this one, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh of course, is going to be called um, Don't Get Too uh, Comfortable. Okay. Now, uh, through the spirit, when I woke up, which we know uh, the Lord puts the word of prophecy in our mouth, and also, too, according to Matthew, the 24th chapter, Isaiah, the 60, 62nd chapter, all right? Us brothers that are in this truth, that are in this knowledge, all right, are the watchmen, okay? And we know that through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai, um, when you look in the ancient times, the watchmen were the ones to basically tell the people, all right, which I'm talking about Israel, of course, all right, when the enemy was coming, they were sounding an alarm. That's why Isaiah 58 uh, says what it says, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, okay? And which really that trumpet was to warn our people that the enemy is coming, all right? So through the spirit, you know, when you, when you go back to, um, you know, the ancient world, the watch, the watchmen were uh, basically uh, very important. Okay. Now, if you were asleep and you didn't hear that horn, you know, and the enemy came, you would get overtooken by the enemy, and you wouldn't be what prepared. All right. Or <laughs> by the thief, whatever you know. Well, you you can pretty much tell where this is going. You know where this is going to, but. Um, through the spirit that's why um, it's a lot here. that's why through the spirit you know it's we, we don't get comfortable like Micah 2 and 10 says this is not your rest it is polluted it will destroy you even with a sword of destruction because now uh, you got this uh, C19 springing back up on a high on a high level and um a video i had did uh i think it was like a couple weeks ago um about a news article basically it was a video that i did about a news article and the um the basically the person that they were interviewing said that if we go into another lockdown and take away um uh u.s citizens um can I say take away U.S. citizens basically um, their freedom again? They're gonna go crazy, and they're gonna come against the the government and the higher ups. Basically, well, the higher ups that they know, they don't. Uh, you ask a lot of these people, do they know the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Duponts? Man, they don't. They don't even know who they are. But that that reminds me of um, through the Spirit when he said that Second Ezra is the fifteenth chapter. All right. They shall not regard their, their princes or their kings. And we know that the king of Babylon, all right, right now is uh, who? Cre Creepy Joe, you know? So um, through the spirit, uh, through the spirit, man, you know, we, we're we seeing a lot of prophecies come to pass and us Akim, us brothers in the truth, all right? Which the Lord ain't going to have a brother in the truth comfortable anyway. If the Lord's dealing with a brother, you know, because for one, for, for one, um, let me say this. You know, uh, the righteous are going to be crying. All right. The, uh, what does it say? Second Edges 15 chapter is basically the same thing. You know, the righteous men are going to be crying uh, to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Crying for what? For him to um first first and foremost, I say this, crying for him to change us, right? Because the worst enemy we have is ourselves right now. You know, we're still able to go off. You know, we want them fleshly hearts, man, according to Ezekiel the 36th chapter, according to the book of Hebrews, all right. It talks about the Lord changing us, you know, the new covenant, why Yahweh Shai came on the scene, if you understand. And see, a lot a lot of guys don't understand, you know, why Yahweh Shai uh, came on the scene. All you got to really do is honestly read the book of Hebrews. 
I don't really, really honestly read the whole book, man, because even in the book of Hebrews, it tells you that Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book. All right. It is written of me. And that's exactly what it is. So through the spirit, when we're, you know, um, you got these guys that don't believe in the miracles. You got Sakari saying the book of Hebrews is null and void. All right. That's 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 non faith. OK, but to the real man of the Lord. All right. Uh, what is it? Um, uh, um, he revealed the secrets to this to service the prophets. All right. Amos three and seven. OK. Those particular secrets involve understanding. All right. Because what a lot of dudes or a lot of people don't understand about this truth is that it's wisdom knowledge and understanding if you don't understand you can't gain the wisdom if you don't understand you can't gain the knowledge all right so if you have bashim al shai supping with you ultimately if you don't understand you know it's it's the lord that's not supping with you okay just through the spirit but um you know just through the spirit man don't get comfortable don't get comfortable i know you brothers i know we're not comfortable we're waiting for a a, a, a better kingdom to come than this sleazy ass kingdom that we in right now. All right. That's, that's fully just pressing the, the man of the Lord. Every time we turn around, every time we look, it's always something, you know, you might be having a, a, a day, which they call it an epiphany. They call it an epiphany. All right. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm, I'm having an epiphany today, which is like a natural type of high type thing, which really through the spirit, if you in this truth, we rejoice anyway. All right, the scriptures say that. That's where they get that from. You know, re rejoice when you go through diverse temptations. All right? And also, too, if you're too comfortable, if, if everything's going right in the society for you, you got to check that. All right? Are you in the truth or are you out of the truth? You know? Because I'll tell you, I'll, I will tell you, I'll be the first one to tell you, and I know brothers know, too, through the spirit, man, that, hey, you be you be having them you be you you can go without hell for like a month if damn uh, and then all of a sudden something just comes up and it's like god damn but call all your how about your mouth shy for that because it makes us non-comfortable all right it makes us cry to the lord it makes us cry to the lord for help man it makes us seek your how about shy all right and you might have a you might have a spell through the spirit okay that you know you just worn out the scriptures say in daniel's he shall wear out the saints all right which really we're, we're the saints of the lord the israelites okay you negroes latinos and native americans but the saints right now okay it's talking about the elect of the nation of israel so we're the real saints because we're doing the will of the lord we're doing the work of the lord okay so we're waiting for a, a greater kingdom to come and that's why we cry to the lord in any situation especially when you get especially when you come back to knowing your power okay when you come back to learning like zephaniah the third chapter says i will give them a pure language so they may be able to call upon the name of the lord in one consent all right and that pure language all right is a lashuan kodash all right lashuan meaning tongue kodash meaning holy and the only holy tongue on the planet on the planet Earth, the first original language is what the Heavenly Father and uh, um, Big Brother, his his son speaks, man, which is Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right. And the Lord gave that back to us after we were destroyed, you know, after we were uh, beaten out of our heritage. Well, he gave it back to the elect. OK. So just through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, even when you get a look, man. I witnessed it, man. You know, through the spirit. I'm gonna say it straight up. I didn't had high end jobs, all right. Jo a job paying twenty five dollars an hour, or whatever the case may be, twenty dollars an hour. I mean, that's common in California, you know. But um, just through the spirit, you know, the the uncomfortability, because even even what came with those jobs was was stressful things, okay. What came with those type that type of job that I had was a stressful thing. The schedule didn't work right. Why? Because I have to go to camp. All right. <laughs> you get a job like that. They're like, yeah, you got work. You know, you're off Wednesday and Thursday. You know, it, it just it's always going to be some BS. But that's where, you know, through the spirit, your faith kicks in. Because at the end of the day, you know, 
Hey, even though, it, hey, it may sound stupid to some, but even though it was that amount of of money through the spirit, man, I had to I had to let it go because it was getting in the way of doing this uh, of doing the work of the Lord. All right, like the scripture said, that I be single. All right, in this world, this world that we live in right now, okay, is going to try to. Are these Edomite, you know, this rulership is going to try to press you, man, and make you fall out, make you get weak, especially if you're a man of the Lord. All right. That's why we say through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Hashem, we always say, Lord willing, Lord willing. Okay. Like uh, the book of James says, you know, but hey, if you are of the hopeful elect, I'm going to tell you exactly like this that Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. It's not going to make anything comfortable for you. All right. Why? We are to call upon the name of the Lord. All right. We are to cry to the Lord to get us up out of here. We are to pray to the Lord. All right. King David, when you read them Psalms, he was crying to the Lord, man. All right. He was he was literally crying to the Lord. OK. And those specific supplications. All right. That King David uh, used. We we ought to use, too. That's why when you read uh, when you read like. Paul's writings to the specific churches, he always says what? Uh, my beloved, okay? Or even Peter said it, you know? My beloved, because at the end of the day, what does uh, Dawada mean? You know? Beloved. And Lord willing, we are the house of David, all right? We're beloved of the Heavenly Father and His Son. That's why we are able to receive this truth, you know? So through the Spirit, man, we can't get uh, comfortable all right, we can't get comfortable because at the end of the day, it's going to get real uncomfortable in America. All right, it's going to get real uncomfortable, it's, and it's about to once again. When that when that first uh, um, plague hit, all right, uh, I think it was what twenty, uh, damn, time flies. Twenty twenty, you know, the Lord sh the Lord shook these people up, but we weren't shaken up because we're waiting for this to come. All right, because we haven't been comfortable. These people, these people, mainly our people been living these specific lives and they've been comfortable, but not us, man. You know, not us. That's why we're waiting for these things to come. That's why when uh, tribulation and such things comes, we're going to be rejoicing even when it comes to us that we go through the fire because it is a worthy some thing to go through what we go through for the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Don't and don't ever forget that even when you go through specific things in your daily walk you know it may be with brothers it may be with your boss it may be with your woman it may be with specific things man always graft in and take things through the spirit and count the cost because there's always something spiritual that can rise or come out of uh um out of a situation if you just sit back and reflect and see what you're doing maybe sometimes it might be you you just never know but all also to remember uh hebrews 12 and 6 the Lord chasteneth whom he loves. All right. And even Job talked about it in Job, the fifth chapter. OK. So chastisement is to help better correct us. But don't ever take stuff. Oh, brothers. Oh, it was Satan. Yeah. The adversary is out here. But also, too, you know, it's chastisement of the Lord, man. All right. But with that, shalom.